guys, guten Morgen, excuse me, here from Germany. Look at this view though, look at this view to wake up and see that castle up there on that hill every single morning. This is what I live for right here. But welcome to the channel if you're new here. Today's video is gonna be about based around, centered around today, injury prevention. No, not injury prevention. We're talking about my game day rituals, my game day preparations, how I get ready, focused, and motivated to absolutely kill my opposition. But before we get into the main portion of today's video, I wanna talk about two simple things, and those two simple things are post notifications in the speed program. Guys, make sure you hit that post notification button, the bell icon down below there, because it lets you know when I post videos and people have been complaining about not receiving any messages about when I post videos. So make sure you hit that post notification button, the bell icon down below if you wanna receive, again, notifications when I post videos. And then this speed program, guys. I know I've been talking about this for like two months now, talking about it, discussing it, debating it, and creating it, but on Monday, it will be live. It is done. On Monday at 5 p.m. German time, so 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, EST, the program will be live on my website, so make sure you download your free copy on Monday. But to move away from that, the main topic of today's video, and that's talking about my game day rituals, my game day preparations. So let's go ahead and begin today's video. All right, so there's a lot of different ways to prepare for a match. So don't think that my ways are the only way because there's a lot of different ways to, again, get your mind and body ready for a big match. But over the years, I've been playing soccer, playing football for 20 years. These ways I'm about to explain to you right now, my pregame rituals, my pregame preparations are for me only. So don't copy my pregame rituals, my pregame preparations because they probably won't work for you. But over the course of 20 years, these are the best pregame rituals that work for me personally. Number one thing is waking up earlier than I normally do. So if I have a 7 a.m. wake up usually on the weekdays, I would wake up at 6.30 or something on a game day. That just helps me to stay focused and motivated and really helps me get all my stuff done before a match, my pregame preparations, just all my stuff gets done when I wake up a tad bit earlier and I'm just more focused and motivated as well. So number one is waking up a tad bit earlier than you normally do. Number two is food. Now this is one I kind of modified over the years because I used to have a lot of food. Trust me when I say this, I used to have a lot of food before matches. If a match was at night, 8 p.m., 7 p.m., I would have three meals before a match. Now that's absolutely insane for the average person, average athlete, but I felt like I needed that in order to stay energized and motivated throughout the game. But after experimenting over the course of the past 20 years, I found that having one meal before a match, either at night, afternoon, or in the morning, helped me tremendously stay focused and motivated throughout the game. So in the morning after I wake up, I'll have my five eggs, habitual, instinctual, five eggs, peppers and mushrooms, and spinach when I wake up straight away. Number three is going for a walk. So my walk, just to wake myself up, is around a mile, mile and a half. I walk from my gym to my field and then the field to my apartment, so it's about a mile, mile and a half walk to wake myself up before a game. Now, getting to the field, this is number four, is stretching. So I'll stretch for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Stretching is so important, guys, before a game, and not even before a game, just every single day when it comes to practicing and training, you need to stretch. So before a match, I'll stretch for 15 to 20 minutes, and then after that, I'll go for a run on the field for a good maybe five minutes or something, very, very easy pace, maybe like a 10 minute mile per pace, if that, so around a half mile on the field. And then from the field, I'll go to the gym. Well, foam roll, so that's number five is foam rolling. You guys can see all the exercise I do for foam rolling, a good five, 10 minutes worth. And then after foam rolling, I'll do a very quick workout for abs, which is front plank, side plank, and then after that, I walk back to my apartment where I'll rest and chill and then get ready for the game even further. Now after those things are done, I'll do some yoga. So yoga and mental conditioning, guys, goes hand in hand in my opinion. So I'll do yoga and also mentally prepare for the game by visualizing tackles and long balls and just great plays on the field by also doing yoga as well. So it kind of goes hand in hand. I'm not doing this on desk, guys. Don't think for one second, guys, I'm doing my yoga on my desk. I'm doing it on my floor or my bed. So don't think I'm doing my mental conditioning and my yoga on my desk, because that's just kind of weird. Now about an hour from the game, or hour and a half or something, two hours, I'll have an energy drink or pre-workout or something to give me the extra caffeine boost on the pitch. So more energy equals a better performance in my opinion. So C4 or something pre-workout or Red Bull or Monster or something like that in order to give me the extra energy boost on the field. And then once I'm finally on the field after doing those preparations and rituals and whatnot, I'm finally at the game, getting ready for the match with the team. I'll stretch a little bit more for 10 minutes or so before the match and then also apply some Icy Hot. Icy Hot is by far the best thing ever happened to me. I'll apply Icy Hot pretty much everywhere in my body besides my face. So Icy Hot everywhere and also do some band work as well. And that kind of concludes my pregame rituals and pregame preparations before a big match or a game in general. Yeah, guys, I know it may seem like a lot to you when it comes to preparing for a match, but that's what works for me, all right? So for 20 years, I'm experimenting and modifying my pregame rituals and pregame preparations, and that's what works for me. So what works for me may not work for you. So don't judge me and say 10 things is too much, Spencer, it's too time consuming, it's too taxing your body. Yes, it may be taxing on your body, it may hurt your body, but in reality, it's helping my body play well during a game. So the real question is, what should you do when it comes to preparing for match, not me, but you. Well, I can't give you factual answers when it comes to you because I don't know you on a one-on-one -on -one level. I don't know you personally, so I can't give you definite answers. What's going to work for you may not work for me. What works for me may not work for you. So just, again, depends on the person. But I will say this, though. Don't overeat. 
stretch and make sure your preparation starts prior to that date beginning, meaning your preparation starts weeks before that game even begins, meaning your preparation starts before the season starts, before preseason starts, it starts before everything. So treat every day like it's a game day and you guys will succeed in this sport. So preparation starts before everything. But that's gonna wrap up this little short little rant here about uh, pre-game preparations and rituals and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have questions about it, make sure to leave a comment down below or question down below. Always get that confused comment question. Leave a question down below in the comment section if you have any questions about this topic. But moving on to a little workout of the day and that is uh, some air control. First time playing on my own really in two weeks now. So this is gonna be a pretty light session, but let's go ahead and begin the first workout of the day. While you and me repeat This bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire Set my heart afire 